Today I'm going to show how to make some really cool green colored flames using two easily found ingredients. I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. Hello YouTubers, Trollface the Man here and today I'm going to show how you can make some rather vividly green colored flames using some ingredients you can find mm, pretty easily. Um, so the first thing we're going to need is borax, otherwise known as sodium borate, uh, sodium tetraborate, or disodium tetraborate. And contrary to what a lot of people believe, this is in fact not boric acid. Uh, this has a pH balance of 8, meaning it is slightly basic, so quite on the uh, contrary. But the good news is, if you want to do this experiment and you do by chance have some boric acid laying around, you can use the boric acid instead. Now the next thing we are going to need is methyl alcohol, uh, or methanol. Now the easiest way for a lot of us to find it is under this brand name of heat. And what this is, is it's made for gas line antifreeze, and it can be found at just about any auto parts store or place that sells auto parts. But the thing is, is you have to make sure that it's not iso heat, which instead of being methyl alcohol, it is isopropanol. And the easy way to tell this apart from that is the iso heat, first off it says iso heat on it and it's in a red container, but if you look on the back, it should tell you right on there what it contains and this says contains methyl alcohol. So that's exactly what we need. Other than that, we just need something that is heat proof or fireproof uh, to burn the stuff in. I have this kind of old uh, experiment dish around here that's you know taking quite a beating. Uh, you're gonna need some matches to actually ignite it and a spoon or something to stir it in. So this stuff can wash pretty easily off of dishes, but I always suggest, you know, if you're gonna do something like this, try and avoid using the same dishes you're gonna eat out of. So let's get started. All right, so I have adjusted the camera view, so that way this can be seen a little bit better. So the first thing we are going to do is add in our methyl alcohol, uh, otherwise our heat. So I'm just gonna add in Oh, well, first I need to puncture this top thing. There we go. I'm going to add in... I'm going to add in just about... I'm in about this much into the bottom of the container here. So, not too much there. And the next thing we are going to do... is add in just a couple spoons of borax. So what this does is when we mix this methyl alcohol with the uh, sodium borate, is it creates something called trimethyl borate, which is clear and colorless, obviously, and it burns distinctively green. So I'm just gonna kind of mix this around a little bit, and uh, yeah. All right, so now that that has been mixed around, the next step is pretty simple, which is to just take a match and light it. Now, always keep your hands away from where the flame will be. You don't want to stick your hands like inside the bowl because you can burn them. So, I light this. And as you can see, we have a very distinctively green colored flame. I'm gonna turn off my light over here. Alright, so I'm going to light it up again from this angle so you guys can see it. So as you can see, it's burning. Now if you ever need to put out uh, this in case of emergency, the best way to do it is just take something slightly bigger than it, like this pot right here put it over top. And what this is doing is it's starving out the oxygen of the fire. And if you starve out the oxygen, this thing can't burn. So I'm gonna lift this back up. 
as you can see, the fire is out. These next shots were taken after it had gotten dark out. As you can see, when first lit, it has a very vibrant green, but as it burns down, it starts to get some rather golden highlights to the flame's peaks. That is when the methanol starts to get low and it burns some of the sodium from the sodium borate producing a nice yellow flame instead. This can be avoided by burning with more methyl alcohol and by also keeping the white sodium borate residue from building up on the sides. But when you have a little on the sides, I personally think it produces a rather cool green and gold highlighted flame. What I think is the coolest is this side shot where you can see green flames, gold highlights, and a distinctive violet color around the bull's rim. That violet color is the natural color in which the methanol burns. Thank you guys very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please show your support by clicking the like button, by commenting, and subscribing. Thank you guys very much for watching and bye!